excited about our customer appreciation with ice cream. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Did was, you do any research on ice cream? Of course I did. I'm I always would expect prepared. You to do that. Of course yes. I did. Did you know that the Eskimo pie was born in Ottawa, Iowa? But it uh, wasn't called the Eskimo pie. Okay. It was, what called, was it called the ice cream bar. Do you want to know why? <laughs> why? Because it was the internal struggle of a small boy having to choose between candy and ice cream. <laughs> the ice cream bar. Nice. Thank Very you. nice. I like that. You like it? What about you? So did you know that in most movie sets and television sets, that if someone has a bowl of ice cream, it's actually mashed potatoes? I did not because know that. Because the mashed potatoes don't melt. There you go. They would melt here, right? I am so excited to go get some ice cream. I think it's going to be fantastic. It's a beautiful day for it. Sunny Arizona. We're looking forward to it. Let's go. All right. So let's go get some ice cream with the old school ice cream bus. And this is Financing the American Dream with your host, Amy Sweeney. Let's go check it out. with the old school ice cream bus. Thank you so much for joining us today and thank you for bringing such a great, great idea and frozen treats to the Valley of the Sun. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how did you get involved with such an awesome idea? Thank you, yes. So uh, when I was trying to decide, you know, a few years back what my side hustle was going to be, I was thinking, well, here we are in the hottest city and the hottest <laughs> state in this awesome country and <laughs> You know, um, I had the bus. My mother had gifted it to me years before, and it was just sitting there. And I started reminiscing about how we used to, I used to help her out on her ice cream truck when I was in high school. And we were able to make a little bit of extra money on the side. So something I could do with my kid. And it was born in the middle of the night one night. <laughs> and I called my mom and said, I think I have an idea. Most of the time, it's just me out cruising by myself. But yeah. I, I, a lot of times I do need some help and, right. and my mom, if I need help or not, she's there. <laughs> she loves to be out with me and it's great because we get to spend some extra time together. And awesome. um, same with my son. Mostly um, in the beginning, yeah. he was a little bit more excited about it. <laughs> well, they're teenagers. He's so. now about to turn 15. So, um, and my husband, yeah, he's always happy to help out too. We do give back to the schools that we support. Um, we do lots of employee appreciation, staff appreciation events. Birthday parties are huge. Um, the great thing is too, it's a, it's a year round thing in Phoenix, you right. know, in Scottsdale we can do this through the winter is actually busier than the summer. Something just simple and happy right. when the world needs it now more than ever. Right. And your favorite part? Favorite oh. part of the job? A flexibility, right. more time with family for sure. Right. And just, I mean, I get to party with kids all the time <laughs> and I love kids. Kids are awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so your favorite ice cream treat? <sighs> Easy, hands down, Shamrock Farms Bullet Pop. Really? It's a pineapple and cherry popsicle and it is delicious. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. We're so excited to have you come and supply our friends and family with some nice ice cream treats and we're excited to go do that right now. Thank you so okay. much, Amy. You scream, we all scream for ice cream. There's nothing better than the cool, refreshing treat of an ice cream on a hot summer day. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Financing the American Dream. I'm Amy Sweeney, and remember, for a decision this important, make sure you consult a professional. We'll see you next time, bye.